1 Corinthians chapter 14. Everything this... ministry does must be found in the Word. Yes. First Corinthians chapter 14 verse 1 I want you to ask out men. I'm not afraid to come up against a false prophet. Amen. We were called to usher in and bring great and mighty change. Horrible scene. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 1 says, Follow after love and desire spiritual gifts, but rather that you may prophesy. You are supposed to cry out to have a spirit of prophecy. Every time you pray with someone, they should be hearing from the Holy Spirit. You should never pray with someone without them receiving what the Heavenly Father has said. Amen. When you pray for people and you intertwine that prayer with a prophecy, then people can prove whether or not you are true or not. Amen. Once again, verse 2 says, He that speaks in an unknown tongue speaks not unto men, but unto Elohim. For no man understands him. How being in the Spirit, he speaks mysteries. But he that prophesies speaks unto men to edification, exhortation, and comfort. Let us turn to verse 23. Are you there? Come on, saints. Each and every member, you should know this. In this ministry, we do not give out membership cards. We, even do, we don't even tell you a member. You're a member by faith. Amen. <laughs> You will never get a membership card here. <laughs> Hallelujah. You will never get a greeting package. Hallelujah. If you're a member, you're a member by faith. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Hallelujah. As a member, you do not have to pay your tithe and offer. But as a leader, you must. Amen. No one will be a leader in this house without paying tithe and offer. Amen. So if you don't want to give, you're welcome to come here too. If you're stingy with your money, you're welcome to come here too. Another thing, hallelujah, you can be a sinner and come here. You can be full-blown gay, full-blown straight, crazy off the wall. Because the doors of the church is open for everyone. Amen. That doesn't mean you're going to get up here on the altar. Now. That's somebody else's church. Amen. First Corinthians chapter 14, verse 23. Amen. If therefore the whole assembly be gathered together in one place, and all speak with tongues, and there come in those who are unlearned or unbelievers, will they not say that you are mad? That's what the Bible says. The Bible says if we are all speaking in tongues, and there comes in somebody unlearned, they're going to say that we're mad. That's normal. But it goes on to say in verse 24, But if all prophesy, and there come in one that believe not, or one who is unlearned, he is convinced of all, and he is judged of all, and thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest. Prophecy should make manifest the secrets of the heart, tell you something that only you know. And so falling down on his face, he will worship Elohim and report that Elohim is of you of truth. Amen? At that time, I want to call up Dr. Apostle Chi. <coughs> Holly, you don't have to get up this time. No, nah, you can come. You can turn it off. This is Saints. This is Dr. Basha Chi. Holly, okay, don't get too close. <laughs> Holly. Uh, Saints, Dr. Apostle Chi has put in her application to work at the White House. Her application was received, and her interview is on. April the 15th and 16th. Amen. 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 Approximately uh, last month, hallelujah, a few weeks ago, she met with President Bill Clinton. Hallelujah. Uh, and she was greatly received. Amen. Saints, this ministry, we're called into politics. Amen. This ministry, we prophesied, hallelujah, through the name of Yahweh and Yahshua, that Barack Obama would be president. Amen. And he was. Amen. Though there are many 
Jesus speaking ministers who prophesied that he would not be president and prophesied and still prophesied the destruction that is coming to America. We all know that that is a lying spirit because whenever someone prophesies something that doesn't come to pass, it's a lying spirit. But Yahweh has opened up a great and mighty door for Dr. Apostle Chief. Hallelujah. And when you hear the doctor on their name, it's not because they come to this ministry. It's because they are medical doctors. Amen. Amen. But Yahweh is giving you a word. Amen. And Yahweh says, the door that I've opened for you, no man. Yahweh says, your brother will bring greatness and honor to your family. But you will bring much, much, much greater. Take me. 